Greetings. You have joined me for a reading from the book of Necron, page 21. <coughs> Thus, even as the roar of bolter fire echoed through Fort Anand's ruins, a shadow fell over the battlefield as the Megalith descended. The Megalith was no ordinary war engine, but a vast floating fortress Green fire lanced out from its flanks, blasting thunderhawks from the air or crippling them on the ground. As the shadow grew larger, chunks of the megalith's understructure broke away, the blocks falling lazily to the ground. They were no mere wreckage but monoliths detaching from the mother ship's hull. As each touched down, it added firepower to the barrage, assailing the Imperial Fistas. The Space Marines must have determined that they were doomed, but duty and stubborn tenacity made them redouble their efforts. Lars Cannon and Multi Melter fire flickered through the ruins, the beams converging to pierce the monolith's living metal hulls. Assault squads threw themselves at the Necron phalanxes, chainsaw teeth screaming as they ripped through the metal bodies. However, the Megalith was now close enough to the ground to bring its invasion beams to play. Pew! Ghoulish light flickered over the battlefield as teleport beams activated, delivering doomsday arcs, legions of Necron immortals, as well as Zandrek and his personal guard into the thick of battle. It all sounds rather familiar, doesn't it? 